Here are eight easy ways to spot AI generated videos because thanks to VO3 and Sora 2, AI generated videos are basically indistinguishable from reality now. So here are some telltale signs. Send this to anyone who might be easily fooled and follow me to learn more about AI. So the first one is watermarks or where the watermark used to be before someone removed them with one of these online tools. You're looking for a little blurry patch that appears and disappears at different places in the frame over the course of the video. The Sora 2 watermark, for instance, appears to jump every two and a half seconds Secondly, another easy one is fake security camera footage that has the time on it. The clock often doesn't even count in the right order and often just makes up characters. Thirdly, if you pause most AI videos and look frame to frame how the image changes, particularly in darker scenes and especially ones where there's not much motion because motion allows the introduction of lots of blur to cover up this stuff, you get this insight into how every frame is a uniquely generated image and you can see quite obvious changes from frame to frame that you just wouldn't get in a genuine video. Fourth is video resolution, quality. This is part of what masks the syntheticness of these videos. It looks like something that's been shared a million times around the internet. And that's why fake security camera footage is so popular because we expect them to be low quality and that nicely covers up some of the issues with the video. But in reality, anything shot with even the most basic smartphone today is really high resolution. It's often 4K, it's very crisp and sharp and would never look as low resolution as these AI videos. Number five is audio, which like the previous point, it's incredibly low quality and it sounds like audio that's been heavily digitally compressed, by which I mean, you know when an image gets really pixelated and you can barely tell what it is? Well, it's like that for audio and you can even hear those little glitchy pixels, let's say, in the audio if you listen closely. Number six, again on audio, is the way that people talk in AI videos. The amount of dialogue in these videos is unnaturally crowded. There's a lot of words, a lot of action happening in a very short space of time and sometimes sounds rushed. And that's usually because the person who generated the video just wants to get as much happening in their clip as possible. Number seven is physical objects that don't make sense. Now these don't always show up these days. Everyone's got five fingers, everyone's hair's in the right place because so much of the video that AI has been trained on contains a lot of faces and hands and hair, common objects. But with less common ones, like someone's feet, it's more likely to add on an extra toe. And number eight is the video's metadata. It will tell you if it was AI generated, but you either have to have the original video file, or if you downloaded it from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, it needs to have been declared by the uploader that it was AI generated when they uploaded it. If either of those things are true, you can go and put the video into this website. It's an initiative where the big tech companies have all agreed to watermark their videos in a certain way so that they're detectable. But it does seem a bit strange that when people upload AI generated videos with this watermark to social media, they're not automatically labeled as AI generated. 